Hey guys, I'm Aman Charanya, a small town boy chasing the big dreams and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've got an ordinary rank 63 in recently conducted INICT May 2025. So in this video, we are going to talk about how to utilize the next 8 week in the best possible way to get the best result. We are going to talk about three things, how to improve your scores in GT, uh, how to revise in an effective way and how many revisions should you plan in the next two months and what should you be revising. And the third thing, like how many questions you should be solving for per day in the next two months. So let's deep dive into it. Uh, so first thing first, be delusional when you are preparing. I know there will be so many hits, like nobody is confident before they get a rank. But you have to think in a way that, yes, if I am working, I have got the seat and I am going to get a seat that I am dreaming of. You have to be confident and work in a way that like you have already achieved it. I know it sounds very childish but you have to be in a in that mindset only that yes i am going to achieve this thing consistency will beat motivational burst small small burst so if you work consistently in the next two months it is going it is going to be more beneficial rather than you showing up for 15 16 hours in a day for one day and then you're not doing anything in the next two days now i know if i can give you one simple motivational thing Think of the money that you will be saving if you end up getting a government seat over private and private seat over a deemed seat. If you get a private seat, you will be paying at least 30 lakh in next 3 years and if you get a deemed seat, you will be paying somewhere around 1 crore. I know everyone, this is a basic thing that you can think of that if I work genuinely and very hard and if I crack this, you will be saving that money. And that is the basic motivation that you should have if you don't have any other motivation right now because anyway you are preparing. Now let's touch upon like how to improve your marks in GT. So basic three things that you have to keep in mind, uh, like how to analyze your GT. So there is three things. The first is recall. If you have problems in recall, it means that you your revisions are not sufficient and you need more revisions. Anyway, everyone will be doing revision, but this recall error can be uh, tackled by having more revisions. Uh, try to uh, involve the active recall while you are doing this. Second thing is misreading of the question. It is like uh, missing out is not or whether they have asked not or whether they have accept. So all this thing will be happening to everyone. It used to happen with me and it can happen with everyone. Even the toppers go through the same thing. So that can be removed by giving more GTs. It's not like you don't know the thing. So revision karne se ye cheez improve nahi hone wali hai. If you want to improve on this thing, Try to give more GTs, right? So giving more GTs, so basically every Sunday you should be giving GT irrespective of what phase you are because in the last two months I would tell you like every Sunday 9 to 12 you have to sit for GT no matter at what phase of preparation you are. So minimum one GT I know like people will vary and people have different opinion but my opinion is you should be giving one GT every single day, every single week. So that's it. And the third part is the application part. So now the application part is you know the concept, you know the detail, but when uh, when it is asked in the form of question, you are not able to reach the option answer like correctly. Like you cannot apply that concept and reach the answer. So how to tackle that? So that can be done by solving more questions. The more the question you solve, your application part will be getting better and the variety of question you get will also improve which will help you tackle the question which were recently asked in INICT which was very atypical rather than the normal one right. Uh, the third thing is platform bias. So platform bias is basically if you give more than 20 or 25 GT now you have that pattern recognition like the, you know what that a platform is going to ask and also the questions will be kind of similar and after solving question bank if and this 20 plus GT there will be bias so to remove that bias you should try multiple platform there are I'm not telling you go and buy every platform there are free GTs available on every other platform you can go and attempt that uh, and if you are someone who is stuck at more than 140 plus I am I will highly recommend you you can try even giving GT twice a week to analyze and improve because it's not like you have not read you have read enough it's your time to improve the thing and how to improve the thing and analyze where is the where is that point that i am uh lacking band so this if you just figure it out then you can probably increase your mark by 10 questions and this is how i had uh, removed my plateau from 140 150 where i was stuck for a long time third is you have to try to process on the focus rather than the rank mera rank kya rahe, mera rank kya rahe. it's not your concern ki aapka rank kya rahe. your concern should be uh, 
am i doing the right thing that i should be doing right now i am am i following the exact process that i should be following so that should be your uh main concerns right now and not the rank because rank dekho kisi ko nahi pata kiska kya aa sakta even if you are scoring uh top 100 in your gts you might end up at the 500000 if from 1000 you might end up in the top 100 to wo to ho sakta hai kisi ke paas that is not in our hand uh small improvements are better than no improvements so that you have to keep in mind and the progress will happen slowly and postponement jo bhi hua let, let it <clears throat> be a opportunity to, to make a comeback right so and see whenever you are if if someone is at 120 see yahan se seedha 116 hi jane wala to you have to focus in a way that how to go from 120 to 125 next gt and then 128 and then 132 like four five question every gt you can try to improve slowly and gradually so the number of gt you will give more there will be more improvement as well बिकॉज आई एज आई सेड इट्स नॉट जस्ट अबाउट द रिविजन देखो सब ने पढ़ के रखा था एवरी वन हैज इन एज देर इन यर माइंड कि मेरा एग्जाम पंद्रह जून को होने वाला है सो एवरी वन हैज रिवाइज इट सो मेनी टाइम सब लोग बोलेंगे रिवाइज करो रिवाइज करो रिवाइज तुमने किया है इट्स अबाउट लाइक हाउ टू अप्लाई ड्यूरिंग द जी टी सो द मोर द टाइम यू फोकस ऑन दैट दैट पार्ट दैट हाउ टू रिवाइज हाउ टू अप्लाई वॉट आई ऑलरेडी नो एन हाउ टू रिकॉल अंडर द प्रेशर दैट इज द थिंग दैट यू शुड try to focus there as well how should be revising the revision should be you should focus on rr and not go into the main videos main videos me you can go and touch up on some topics if you want to but not the main video so whenever you revise a one subject from your rapid revision or revision uh, uh, rr or whatever source you are using uh, i i use i had done mero rr in my november attempt and it is i guess very pretty good matlab that covers majority of the things so after the end of that you have to give subject wise test or end whatever it is because that will let you know like how to apply the things and how much things you know and the subject wise test will also have at least 50 important topics in them so you will be revising that as well and aapka test bhi ho jayega it's not like ek subject khatam hua to aapko 50 mein se 50 aane chahiye it's basically testing the things that you have read try to focus on concepts and uh, active recall sab depth mein nahi jana hai just Uh, try to <clears throat> have that basic information that can help you to solve that question too much depth is not required and you just not have to remember pyq ka option rat liya to that is never going to help because majority pyq mein the sense wo log pyq rat lete if you try to just rote memorize pyq it is not going to help at all wo ho jayega 80 90 question jo sabse hone wala hai so that will not improve your rank at all now number of revision it can be 2 or 3 if you are scoring 140 plus then this is 3 Four two to this case. This is the way you can go for. But the majority of people will follow this, and even even if I would be then I would be following this one five week and three weeks. So the major revision and then the one revision of uh, again in the last three weeks. So this is the like basic performance, like how many days to give to a subject. But now that depends on person to person. But as I said. do subject wise test and the end of the revision from whatever you are doing rr will be covering majority of pyq so ye sab khatam hoga uske baad subject wise test do please 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 ye do like this will actually help you now let's talk about question practice everyone will tell you to revise 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 i know you anyways going to be revised but uske sath what you have to do is practice question this is the see when i ended up scoring 400 plus score in november at that time i had not done enough questions so i realized ki ye galti ho hai so from next in my next attempt which was the may see this is the number of questions that i have solved usme se itne correct so i accuracy is the thing that you have to focus on right so <clears throat> the point that i am trying to make over here is it's just not about about revising the things but you have to try to apply that that apply the things that you are trying to revise like whether it is working or not so solving question is the most important thing i would like to tell you just don't try to revise revise i know it might work for many people but the majority of people will be doing this and i have talked with many of my friends and they also have done this thing and they also used to do this questions so see this is my average questions per day and also you as you can see see this is how the number of questions used to go up and down it's not like i the flat like sab din same or other but as i said like try to keep of average of around 150 plus per day and now see this is from 17 first of uh, first uh, jan 17 to may 2026 uh, 
सो लाइक सी इफ यू सोल्व हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन फॉर नेक्स्ट फिफ्टी डेज इवन इवन देन यू विल बी सोल्विंग सेवन हंड्रेड सेवन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन विच इज अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट विल हेल्प यू बिल्ड द कॉन्फिडेंस एज वेल नाउ यू हैव टू डिवाइड दैट इन टू थ्री स्लॉट्स फिफ्टी इन द मॉर्निंग फिफ्टी इन द नून एंड फिफ्टी बिफोर यू स्लीप और लाइक इन द इवनिंग वॉट एवर सूट्स उसमें से जो कस्टम मॉडल बना रहे हो जो वन कस्टम मॉडल शुड बी मिक्सड बैग नो डाउट बिकॉज दैट्स विल हेल्प योर ब्रेन टू गेट अडेप्ट टू रैंडम क्वेश्चन दैट आर फ्लैशिंग बिकॉज एग्जाम में द क्वेश्चन विल नॉट कम इन सिक्वेंस की पैथो का आ रहे दिन फार्म में का रहे क्वेश्चन विल कम रैंडमली एंड यू शुड बी वायर्ड इन अ वे सो दैट यू कैन आंसर एनी टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट जस्ट कैन पॉप अप ऑन द स्क्रीन वन कस्टम मॉड्यूल शुड बी बेस्ड ऑन द सब्जेक्ट वाइज सब्जेक्ट बेस्ड जो भी आप सब्जेक्ट पढ़ रहे हो उसके बेसिस पे ये वाला होना चाहिए एंड वन इफ यू आर डूइंग एस डब्ल्यू टी एट द एंड ऑफ द डे दैट ऑल्सो काउंट इज अ फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन बेसिकली द टोटल क्वेश्चन शुड बी रिज वन फिफ्टी इफ यू आर नॉट डूइंग यू कैन डू वन मोर ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट इफ इट इज नॉट द एस डब्ल्यू टी सो बेसिकली हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन दैट इज यू वॉट यू शुड बी टारगेटिंग ट्राई टू फोकस ऑन एक्यूरेसी लाइक जो क्वेश्चन आपको आना चाहिए वो गलत नहीं होना चाहिए सो द मोर यू फोकस ऑन एक्यूरेसी बिकॉज एनी वे इट द एंड ऑफ द डे जो एट्टी परसेंट क्वेश्चन जो है दैट विल बी फ्रॉम व्हाट यू हैव स्टडीड तो उसमें आपका एक्यूरेसी शुड बी मोर देन 90 प्लस परसेंटेज 100 तो नहीं होगा बट वो जो 80 परसेंट जो आप पढ़ा आपने जो पढ़ा है उसमें से आया ट्राई टू गेट मोर देन 90 परसेंट ऑफ एक्यूरेसी इन दोज क्वेश्चन ट्राई टू फोकस ऑन की वर्ड्स एंड बज वर्ड्स इन द एक्सप्लेनेशन पूरा डिटेल एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑब्वियसली यू कैन नॉट गो एंड रीड एवरी थिंग द इम्पोर्टेंट टेबल्स इंपॉर्टेंट चार्ट दैट यू हैव टू फोकस इफ द क्वेश्चन इज फैक्ट बेज यू हैव टू गो एंड चेक इंपॉर्टेंट इन्फो एंड स्मॉल स्मॉल इन्फो दैट इफ यू फोकस एंड कंबाइन दिस टू थिंग इट विल हेल्प यू टू स्कोर बिग स्कोर स्मॉल बिट्स एंड पीसिस ऑफ इन्फो टूगेदर विल हेल्प यू एट द एंड ट्राई टू बुक मार्क द थिंग्स सो दैट यू कैन गो एंड रिविजिट वेन एवर नीडेड and while you are doing all this thing try to maintain a book now you can call as 20th book chote copy whatever you can name it i used to make flash card of the auto, all the information that i have to uh, like remember or jo bhi mujhe lagta tha ki i am not able to retain so i used to make flash card but now you can make sticky notes digital or pen and paper but at this point i think digital will be very useful because you can <coughs> crop and add any photos tables and also highlight them this is the best method but i know it is very not you uh, suitable because you are not used to this but this i feel is the most convenient one right now so this is this is that now what should go in the 20th uh, 20th notebook सो ट्वेंटी एथ नोटबुक में पर्सनल है लाइक जो मुझे नहीं आते और आपको जो याद नहीं रहता है विल बी ऑब्वियसली डिफरेंट डिफरेंट थिंग इट्स नॉट लाइक कि ये इसीलिए तो इसको ट्वेंटी एथ बोलते हैं बिकॉज इट्स अ पर्सनल नोटबुक की वॉट आर योर वीक एरिया दैट इज वॉट यू शूड ट्राई टू पुट इन टू दोस दिस ट्वेंटी एथ नोटबुक सो इट विल बी ऑब्वियसली पर्सनल बट मेनली इट्स लाइक स्कोर्स ट्राई आर्ट सिंड्रोम स्टेबल्स टेबल्स ऑफ लाइक कल्चर मीडिया इन्वेस्टिगेशन ऑफ चॉइस नेम साइन इन रेडियो इवन अभी भी ये बार भी दे आस्क आई ऑफ टाइगर साइन सो दो दिस ऑल थिंग्स जो छोटी मोटी है जीन म्यूटेशन बिकॉज ऑन द लास्ट डे यू कैन गो एंड जस्ट गो थ्रू ऑल दिस थिंग एंड प्लीज ट्राई टू विजिट वीकली ऑल दिस जो भी आप बुक बना रहे हो ना बिकॉज इट्स नॉट लाइक इन वन रिविजन यू विल रिमेंबर ऑल दिस थिंग इट विल टेक टाइम बिकॉज एवरी वन इज डन रिविजन स्टिल एवरीबडी डजेंट स्कोर द सेम नंबर ऑफ मार्क्स सो इट्स बेसली बेस्ड ऑन द मोर द टाइम यू रिवाइज द थिंग्स दैट यू आर वीक एट द बेटर यूर इम्प्रूवमेंट विल बी सो लाइक थ्री टू फाइव रिविजन एंड इन दिस थ्री वीक्स जो लास्ट में बचते हैं उसमें से लाइक कीप दो फाइव सिक्स डेज इन द बफर तो ऊपर इवन इफ इन दिस फाइव वीक्स इफ यू कर कैन नॉट कम्प्लीट सो यू कैन जस्ट इवन टेक मोर सिक्स बट द लास्ट फिफ्टीन डेज जो है दैट इन दैट फिफ्टीन डेज यू हैव टू डू द सेकेंड रिविजन हैव अर वीकली टाइम टेबल जो भी आपका पूरा संडे को वीकली टाइम टेबल बनाना है कि नेक्स्ट वीक आई एम मे को जो क्या करना है वॉट आर माई टारगेट्स एंड देन यू हैव टू एट डेली टारगेट स्वीट एंड जो डेली टारगेट्स है ट्राई टू अचीव एट लीस्ट एटी फाइव टू नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ दैट इफ यू आर डूइंग दैट कंटिन्यूसली यू गोना स्कोर वॉट एवर टू योर मैक्मम पोटेंशियल वॉट एवर यू हैव यू कैन रीच एंड एज आई से ट्रेक द प्रोग्रेस एज आई शोड इन दैट एफ सी आई यूज टू ट्रेक प्रोग्रेस ऑफ एवरी थिंग लाइक हाउ हाउ मेनी क्वेश्चन आई एम डूइंग वॉट एवर इट इज सो ट्राई टू ट्रेक प्रोग्रेस है ना एंड द लास्ट थिंग इज सी दिस इज एंड जस्ट अनदर अटैम्प दिस इज योर कम बैक स्टोरी इन द मेकिंग मैक एवरी डे काउंट I had failed in my final MBBS, and despite I did not give up on this thing. So, if you did not give, if you don't give up, things will turn in your favor. So, please keep working. All the best. See you in the next one.